tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, for today's episode, I invited an organization called Youth Lead Philippines. So I have three of their officers here today. And yeah, uh, why don't I introduce them to you? So we have William Aranilia, who is the Vice President. We have Nessie Binatero, who is the Secretary General. And we have Florence Salvo, who is the Counselor. Hi, everyone! Hello! Hello. Hello. Okay, so they're actually my kuyas and ate. So, <laughs> I will be... I don't know. But okay, napinsin ko you guys are all together right now. Where are you... Currently based. Uh, we're here sa Tagbilaran City po, Bohol, and then we're here together in a house of the friend who's actually administrator, yeah, admin officer ng Youth Lead Philippines Incorporated. Okay, so you guys are based from Bohol, pala. Um, this is the first time that I'm interviewing um someone outside Luzon, so this is gonna be really exciting. Kamo sa naman kayo jan sa Bohol. Uh, we're fine. Actually, Bohol is under MGCQ, and then um, uh, though we are in MGCQ, but then we we also uh, follow the the protocols. Like for example, social distancing, wearing of masks, and actually today we are uh, if we were to ride on public transport, we're gonna wear uh, face shield. Yes. Ah, okay. So and, it's also mm -hmm. yeah. And so we uh, and so we, Miss Erica, we can actually see the resilience among Boholanos that. Um, we're starting to go back to. I mean, I, I know it's a new normal, but we're trying to to cope with to cope with this pandemic and make this a better normal. Okay, so it's also required then, no, the face shields, because they also recently required it here in Metro Manila to wear face shield. So there as well. But I'm glad um, you you're all okay there in Bohol. How much the cases there, if I may ask? Yeah, um, the cases are actually increasing because of the uh, may mga uh, may mga LSIs, local stranded individuals. But mm -hmm. uh, but I would be, but the government actually is doing its best um, okay. how to mitigate it, naman, and to observe the healthy and safe protocols. Okay, at least at, at least you're all safe there. No? Um, I'm William Aranilia. Uh, my friends, my colleagues used to call me Kuya Yam. I am a teacher by profession. And I am the Vice President of UC Philippines. I graduated my Master's. Uh, it's actually Master of Arts in English um, at University of Bohol. And presently, I am connected with Tagbilaran City College as the Research and Extension Coordinator. Wow. So what do you do as the Research and Extension Coordinator? Well, um, I am delighted to, to, to share with you, Ms. Erica, and to all the viewers out there that Tagbilara City College is actually a starting, it's actually a starting um, college here in Bohol. It's a local college, actually. It was, um, it started last year. We just opened last Yeah, it year. was, yeah, it opened last year to the many Boholanos, not only Tagbilaranos, but also the Boholanos. And we're lucky enough to be part of, of the technical team, of the admin team, to actually perfect our craft, most especially in the field of academia. Okay, so hello everyone. Maayong hapon. That's magandang hapon in Visaya. Uh, I'm Nessie. You can call me Ate Nessie. Um, I'm also connected with Tagbilaran City College as a school registrar. So mm -hmm. I and Kuya Yam are colleagues also in, just not just in Youth with Philippines, but also in uh, in the workplace. I graduated uh, Master of Arts in Curriculum Development, Design and Supervision in St. Paul University, Manila. And also, I'm a teacher by profession, but uh, currently, I'm the school registrar. Okay, so I can yeah. see you were um you were you grew up naman in Bohol, and then you just went to Manila for college. And I uh, I took up my masters in Saint Paul, Manila. Oh, sorry, yeah, but master. our instructors or professors are the ones coming here in Bohol during weekends to have our classes with us. Special. It's a special ah! program. But we do actually go to St. Paul if, there, if it's vacation, like uh, if it's summer rather. So if there are no, um, if it's free time for us here, like summer, pumunta kami sa St. Paul para i-continue yung pag-aaral namin sa Masters. Wow, okay, you can do that? I didn't know. 
That, that, that's, a very, that's a very nice program. Okay. Yeah, it's a special yeah. program ng SPU Manila. Galing. Galing. Thank you, Ate Nessie. And then last, of course, we have Kuya Florence. Hello, good afternoon. My happen uh, to all of uh, to all of you. No, uh, um, I am Florence, but my real name is Florencia. But my friends call me Florence. Uh, I graduated uh, Bachelor of Science in Customs Administration last 2015, and um, last March I completed my units in uh, qualifying program program for education at University of Bohol. At the same time, I am. Um, uh, student. The Student Affairs Office of PMI Colleges Bohol, and mm. currently taking up also my Masters in Public Administration in the same university. Thank you, Miss Erica. So thank you also um, to the team for inviting us here to share to all what is or who is really Youth in the Philippines. I know many of you are asking, ano ba or sino ba talagang si Youth Lead? San ba to nakabase? So Youth in the Philippines Youth Lead stands for um, Youth Leadership. Excellence. Excellence for Active Development. Philippines uh, Incorporated, yes, yun yung meaning ng youth lead. Um, it's actually a non-stock, non-profit, non-political, and of course, a youth-focused development organization. Um, um, our our advocacy is for regional leadership. Uh, that's actually our primary advocacy. And it was founded on January 15, 2011, by Boholano Young Professionals and Students, led by Mr. Metodio B. Maraguino Jr. We used to call him Kuya John, John as our founder and chair. Yes. So it came to Kuya John's um, mind during his uh, meaningful conversation with Jesse Robredo in 2009, that was in Naga City. They had a very meaningful exchange of conversation regarding uh, transformation or transformational leadership. So, yun, na-inspire si Kuya Jan noong 2009. Uh, it is run in his mind. And then, noong 2011 nga, ayun, um, nakapag talk siya together with other young leaders dito sa Bohol. Uh -huh. And then, they started or they founded Youth Lead Philippines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So this was started in 2011. Am I 2011. 2011. Okay. And okay. Does that so you've been going on for quite some time? But is Youth Lead Philippines only in Bohol, or um, is it? Can do you also reach the metro? Thank you, Miss Erica. It's actually a national youth organization. It just it so happened that we are here Bohol based because. All of us, founding members, are Boholanos. Ah. So our, our programs are reaching the national. Sometimes yes. it's also reached international. international. Yes, uh, we do have more than 300 affiliate organizations and partners all over the Philippines, yes. maybe from a school-based organization, civic organization. Yes. We also have partnerships outside Philippines. Wow. Okay, so can you name a few countries that you're partnered with? Okay. Okay. Um, not necessarily that it's uh it's actually a country, but um mm -hmm. organizations coming from other countries. Sorry. We actually since the organization is actually giving or having two programs. First program, I'm talking about the programming of the organization now. First program is the advocacy program, and the second one is the capacity building program. So may nag inquire talaga na mga organizations abroad we could actually give them the training program or like the capacity building program but ano naman sa advocacy program namin um like may mga campaigns kami may mga campaigns kami um so to expound further about our uh to expound further about our programming so first was the advo first is advocacy program so we have this sir, um our uh let's say banner program actually is the i transform campaign um mm -hmm. uh, actually to address, to meet, and to localize the Sustainable Development Goals or, or the SDGs. SDGs. Yeah. So we are a private institution, so we are a non-government organization or NGO, non-profit, non-staff, non-partisan. So we are actually raising our own funds through our programs. programs. And of course, yeah, kami yung nag self support kami. Um, uh, self supporting lang kami. Yeah, self through our programs. Through our programs. Po. So it is actually the vision of the organization. Um, first is for its members to become transformational leaders, sharing the same purpose and, and of values. course values. 
Second is um, we also envision that the organization will soon become the country's premier youth organization that focuses mm -hmm. on transformational leadership. Mm -mm. Yeah, and if I may ask, um, how, why decide on transformational leadership? Bakit yun yung advocacy ni youth speak? Um, here is the thing, Miss Erica. Um, many of us actually um, acquire the kind of leadership that is not actually worth emulating for. It's not enough. We believe that it's not enough that as a leader, you only possess the kind, uh, you only possess the, the required skills, skills. knowledge, attitude. But, attitude but, what you, but there's something more important than those things, and that is values. That is why transformational leadership focuses on the values, the value formation. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very, I agree. I agree, and you know that's um. I think, well, for me at least, no. This is the first time I'm hearing an organization whose advocacy is on transformational leadership. You know, we, I am sure you would agree with this. Na, time youth, we are the future leaders. So yes. yeah. So, so as a development entity, we are transformative. We are patriotic, multicultural, and values based. Uh, we. We accept different kinds of views from different kinds of background, gender, ethnicity. Um, in accept I mean, as long as they are very willing to be of service and to be of help in the organization and our programs. Okay, okay. We so also poster um, the spirit of patriotism among them. Mm -hmm. That um, before you can love anything outside Philippines, you need to love first your own, and that is being a Filipino. Uh, patronize, patronize our, our products. products. Yes. We do support mm. our, our um, the things or the, the uh, logistics, the logistics, the vendors. Do, yeah. uh, we get them from our local um, entrepreneurs. Yeah, as a way of patronizing and supporting them. Every time we have we have this uh, activity, like for example, I transform or trail into uh, mm -hmm. local entrepreneurs, like yeah. our, we our bags from from yeah. the from the bags to to, to the anything in the kit. It's it's mm -hmm. local. Okay, and then you know what? I'm I'm excited to hear no more of your programs, but we will discuss that in um in the next uh, segment that we're gonna have. Okay, so um, is there a next slide? Do we have a next slide? Yes. Okay, I so this is the beginning. Uh, shout out to Kuya John if no no no. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Hi, Kuya John. Or ever dynamic, Kuya John. Ever dynamic, ever um, young, yeah. ever brilliant, and yeah. witty, and very inspirational. Kuya the brain, John. soul of this organization. That's Kuya John. <laughs> That's Kuya John. That's Kuya yeah. John. Um, going back to the programming of Youth Lead Philippines, it is actually divided into two. First is the advocacy program. And second is the capacity building program. Under the advocacy program, we have this banner program called the I Transform campaign. So the I Transform campaign, the primary thrust of this is to localize, to meet, to 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 to, to achieve the fusion of the SDGs in the local communities. Mm -hmm. That is why we launched the Philippines I Transform Young, young Leaders, Leaders convention. convention. So in this convention. Um, young leaders, adult leaders coming from the different parts of the country come together to brainstorm, to discuss, to become community champions, to become social innovators, and mm -hmm. to localize the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goal. Mm -hmm. Secondly, is we have the, the other part of the, uh, the other program, which is the Capacity Building Program. So in the Capacity Building Program, we aim to, to train we aim to hone the leadership skills and values of our young leaders, our adult leaders, our young leaders in the country. So in here, we launched, we have this primary program called the Philippines Trail Summer Camp. Camp. So, oh, so in, this, in this, yeah, we have trail camp. In this trail camp, um, the we have different, uh, there are different methodologies, transformative approaches to leadership. Trail means transformative approaches to innovative leadership. leadership. Yeah, mm -hmm. Then we also have our last program, uh, institutional um, activity okay. or program that is Buklod. Buklod. Yeah. Okay. In Buklod, 
Um, this is actually both advocacy at the same time a capacity, capacity building day. program po. So, Booklood. yeah, Booklood po, this is to promote peace um, and culture and cultural cultural awareness and understanding. Yes po. And it's usually held in Mindanao. In and Mindanao. Yeah, mm -hmm. the last one we had, I mean, the first one we had, it was in Davao City last okay. January po. The first. The first. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. So you just, so Booklood technically just started. Yes. yes po. It was okay. um, this March year. this year. This year yeah. lang po. Okay. And sorry, if I may ask, what does booklaud stand for? May meaning ba yun? Yeah. Yes. Um, booklaud stands for Bridging Understanding, Knowledge Links, and... Um, yan pa. Yes pa. So for, do you for, focus on um, an, a certain SDG or you usually tackle all? Um, every I transform or every convention that we have for PYLC rather, uh, we do have um, certain SDGs to target or to talk or discuss about. So for example, last year, yung uh, target namin is more about the environment. Mm. So the other year naman, nung election year, we targeted good governance, peace, justice, and strong institutions. Right. Okay. So every year, iba-iba kami iba -iba kami team. Team yes. okay. target. Nice. If I may ask, so... September is next month. But yes. given the uh, pandemic, um, what are your plans for iTransform? Naman? Uh, because of the pandemic, you know, we, we plan, actually we have, we, uh, we have this initial plan to launch uh, PYLC in a different platform. No, like uh, because we, we want to embrace the new normal, so maybe uh, it's part of the, the, the plan that uh, iTrans iTransform will be launched virtually. And the, the different um, competitions, no? yeah. that, like you say, writing will still be yeah. uh, giving of grants. Grants. Um, okay. uh, because our organization, uh, for those uh, for those organization or uh, yes, organization, yes. we give grants. Okay. Part kasi ng i-transform na hindi lang siya more on convention na may mga talks, speakers. Um, after kasi ng mga talks or sharing ng speakers, may mga pag-check kami na ginagawa kung anong mga nalilearn ng mga participants. So mayroong mga um, different, different activities like yung yung projects uh, proposals. Um, we call that Kabataan Fair. Aside from that, meron din mga um, pa-contest like essay writing, photo on the spot video, um, video making, and also photo a, photo, a photo shoot or photography photo. contests. We also ano, um, have um, talks with some um, of the... Like their initiatives also? Initiatives, yeah. yeah. It's shared with yeah. mga, ng mga participants. Yeah. We're also inviting um, speakers who also excel in their respective um, fields of interest, most especially um, when their advocacies are really aligned, aligned with the with. SDGs. Yes. yes. So how do you um, get participants pala? For example, I want to join. For example, like, am I eligible or may cut off ba kayo? Okay. Okay. Uh, we do send. Um, we have different uh, ways of inviting the participants. Um, first, we do send invitation kits sa mga schools and uh, organizations sa community. And then another is we do have social media campaigns. Okay. Yeah. So it's so, it's open mm -hmm. to those who are willing to join. Yes. Um, well, naman kami yeah. it may be in an organization or a private individual. Uh, yes. yes, individual. We don't and, even have participants na hindi din yung mga young at heart. So may youth at then may mga young at heart. So we call them yes. adult participants, adult yeah. leaders kasi they also have their own um Simultaneous yeah. different conference yeah. or um, con convention, other, uh, yes. other programs. programs. Yes. As a rejoinder lang po, Ms. Erica, because ang um, usual na convention or training, yung mga, yung mga go, uh, advisors, advisors, yung mga chaperones, talagang chaperone lang sila, parang mm -hmm. walang ginagawa. But, That's why in order for us to keep the program dynamic, yeah. Why don't we give also a program or an activity for the youth, uh, for the adult leaders? So that is why we are at the same time empowering them, orienting them. I know the young mga not mas really, competitive uh, pa sa mga, mga, uh, pa yung mga adult leaders, <laughs> yeah. sa mga youth mga leaders, leaders. Uh, and also to refresh new concepts, theories for yes, uh, about leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. in that way they're also they can also relate with uh, their youth leaders. And I think that makes our program unique, unique, unique and very interesting. Yes, interesting. Very, 
na balik-balikan talaga siya ng mga youth ah, mga adult theaters. Yes. Yeah. yes. Kasi talagang you really um it's very how do I say this? Everyone, eh. it's really for everyone talaga. You really accept yeah. everyone. That's why iba nga, iba talaga. So Book Lord is your newest um the newest program that you have and you mentioned a while ago na it's more on um, promoting the cult the different cultures um, maybe we can talk about that more so this year it was held in Mindanao in Davao am I correct? yeah in the yeah, nature, nature resort okay so what do you do in Buklod naman? is there a difference between yung I transform and Buklod or they're kind of the same na rin? Uh, there are there are some similarities and differences, but although Booklod is more of an exchange program, so mm-hmm. mga young leaders, uh, those are leaders are coming from different uh, walks of life also. But it's more of um, cultural exchange program. Understanding also, culture. yeah, understanding culture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And that is through education. Yeah, we education. always believe that education really is a very indispensable vehicle to promote peace and culture, uh, and, and culture understanding. Cultural understanding. Yep. Yes, Paul. Education's um, really important, talaga. No? Yes, and and the the focus of this, um, the SDGs that are being highlighted, highlighted. here are the SDG four, the quality education, education. S, uh, SDG sixteen, peace, peace. and strong and. Stu- Peace, justice, justice, and strong, strong institutions. And lastly, 17, which is strong partnerships. Strong partnerships, yes. Okay. Okay, so, I know, very... Um, I'm happy also that, you know, you're you're still um, on trying to push for your projects despite um, the the pandemic, no? I just would like um, to highlight for the SK because in Bookload, um, the 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 participants, both of the participants, the of the participants really are some good and yes. officials. Yes. So yes, we need to empower them. We yeah. Need to empower them. I agree. Because it's like now, lang ulit bumalik yung SK, right? Because for yes, a while, just na wala si SK, but then now, oh, oh, tama. Actually, interesting. Ne- my next episode, I will be interviewing mga SK. <laughs> Wow. wow. So, oh, hope you can like that. Actually, Miss Erica, in the celebration of the International Youth Days, um, we got many invites po talaga. That, Partnerships. Oh, maraming mga SKs na nag-invite sa amin to become their, to partners. be their partners po. Like, lately, we had engagements or partnerships with the SK Federation of Cebu City, Talisay City, and Zamboanga. Um, Zamboanga, like, also in Camarines, Camarines. Sur, as in, Mar- marami na rin po. Most especially in localizing the SDG since the theme of this year's IYD is um, youth, youth engagement, youth engagement for, global for global action. action. Oh, okay. Yes. Can you also, because um, I know mga SKs here in the metro, no? If ever <laughs> they need, can we contact you? <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, I, ikakalat ko na yan here. <laughs> Tsaka next week, ikakalat ko oh, na yeah. yan. Actually, Miss Erica, like that, uh, yeah, in line with that, with Ines, we have the mm-hmm. C2C for SDGs. That's um, Connect, Connect to Collaborate for SDGs. That's our new program these days, most especially in time of the pandemic yeah, crisis. Of, of this pandemic crisis, that as what we have said, let's not limit our capacity to do more. Is, okay. is it because we are in this kind of pandemic we cannot anymore continue our engagements? That is why we launched the C two C for SDGs. So we have partnership engagements with the different SKs, and not only SKs, SKs. but also schools other organizations. and other organizations. Are you accepting members right now? Yeah. Actually, we have a program. We do have a program for those who'd like to be part of Fifthly Philippines. We call that Staffership Academy. So every time we have programs, kami, we we do have postings or submit campaigns regarding the call for staffership or for those who'd like to become staffers. And there are things that they need to submit. Also, they need to undergo training. Training. Yes. Para makapag-serve sa program na gaganapin. Yes. Po. Oh. And what's one amazing thing about the Staffership Academy? Mm-hmm. 
most of them, most of our volunteers are also alumni of, of our, our program. Programs. So from the participants, the staffers, yes, so, and we could see really the sustainability in the leadership yeah. aspect. Mm-hmm. That I mean, that we're able also to see that these. Uh, you know, leaders that we train are now leading also in they our own grown. programs. Yes, bro. in fact, may mga dating volunteers kami na naging staffer, staffer. Na, na naging officer, officer na, na yes. organization. Yes, bro. so and, yes, really effective. Oh yeah, sorry, yes. good to one. Yes. Uh, you made mention on how if you're interested to join in our in our organization. Actually, uh, once you be, uh, before you become a member of our organization. We will send you an invitation. Yes, oh, no, during the assembly to participate in the assembly. Yes, but it clarify lang po namin in becoming a participant in all our programs. Everyone is welcome. Po. Yes. yes. How long yes. have you, have you been um, volunteering for Youth Lead Philippines? Okay. Um, I have been a volunteer of Youth Lead Philippines since its inception or foundation. Po. So. I am a founding member of the Philippines po. So actually just to tell you also my personal journey with YLP, um, I used to be a part po, of World Vision Development Foundation. So I used to be a child facilitator okay. also uh, together with Kuya John. Uh, what's one amazing thing when Kuya John created or formed this Youth in Philippines, he actually um, invited um, invited all these young leaders in Bohol no then made a group called Youth in Philippines no and uh, young leaders who share the same purpose and passion most especially in the tenets of of transformational leadership now going back to my journey po um honestly i was still college student at the time uh um i used also to be a student leader in my own school in my own college then um in the, in the foundation of YLP um, I was able to meet Atinesi. Uh, along the way, I was able to meet um, Kuya Florence. Uh, okay. well, wow, I mean, I, I was able also to know more people who also like, who are also empowered, no? who are also have well, this sense of passion, no? and of course, this sense of sharing what they have for the community. Yes, po, then. That's it, po. That's my personal journey with uh, okay. no, And it continues on and on now that I'm working, as 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 a teacher, as a research and extension coordinator, all the things that I have learned. I mean, I must say, na nga, marami talaga na yung bagong my LP po. Okay. Thank you, Kuya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in my personal note, naman po, uh, I was able to came upon this very empowered and uh, inspiring young leaders ng Bohol when I've got to meet Kuya Jan during our days at TOSP or it's also known as the Ausanding Students of the Philippines. So okay. Kuya Jan is also an alumni of that. I'm also an alumni of TOSP. And then when they had to um, conduct the Philippine Trail Summer Camp that was way back in 2013, I was asked by Kuya Jan to join as a staffer po. So yun. From that uh, year on, was 2013, I've been active and part of Youth in Philippines. So because of Youth in Philippines, marami pa ako nakilala, mga taong very inspirational, mga taong um, kahit walang tulog, walang kain, smiling pa rin. Um, they are really um, doing all the best that they can just to help our country to become better, just to inspire young leaders to be more of um, a help in the community. So yun po, um, until now, I'm still inspired and awed and being at all sa mga nagagawa ng mga young leaders natin and dahil sa Youth Lead Philippines. Thanks, Ateneti. Okay. So my journey to Youth Lead Philippines, it all started in 2015 when I became the chairman of the Bohol Alliance of Student Councils. This is a, uh, an organization composed of different uh, student councils all over Bohol, and then uh, what uh, on that year also, you know, I was invited to deliver a topic in the in Trail in 2015, which was held in Cebu, and it's all about student welfare, which is in line with my work right now. I could say that this organization honed me to become what I am today, that reg- uh, because this organi- organization taught us to be grounded on the values that we. Yeah that we have mm-hmm. that no matter your achievements and achievements in life is, you should be remain grounded and that's the very important thing i've learned when i joined this organization and not only that 
uh, I was able also to uh, connect or to benchmark or to create networks with other uh, schools no? and, and, and organizations. And in the organization, no? where I found not just only friends, colleagues, but a family yes. to hold on. Every time that you have this, like, for example, no, I, I, uh, problems we can we can talk to we can laugh with no and um also being a volunteer no it should uh that these are uh, no matter how, how how exhausted you are because of that activity but it all goes back to to the to the point that why is it that you were there why is it that you were given this task? it's because for all all for uh to hone other leaders also um by by doing you know, that uh, transformational leadership. The is composed of young professionals yes. now. Yes. We have a colleague who is a doctor, a colleague who is a lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. But whenever we meet during during activities, we don't actually give high regards to ourselves that I am a doctor, yes. I am an engineer. Am a but we are all the same. We touch the same ground. No, so, ganun po. Pantay, same lang po yung talagang tingin, tingin namin tingin sa, namin sa, isa. sa isa po. <laughs> Yeah, which is very important nowadays. So I, I, I'm very um, happy to know that you know actually based on um, what you've been talking about, I can see that Youth Lead Philippines is really helping um, the youth. So naman. even though we were struck by the great great earthquake, um, Youth Lead Philippines was able to form the Bangon Bohol Relief Drive or BBRD. Yeah. So. Uh, in October 2015, we were able to reach different um, barangays, different towns here in Bohol to give aid, not just relief goods, but we do have a relief mission wherein we do um, uh, checking of the health or medical medical um, medical condition of the uh, constituents. We also give um, stress debriefing, and then we also check their um, uh, condition. So yun, uh, marami kami nakikita ng mga tao na although wala na silang bahay, wala na, nawalan sila ng uh, mahal sa buhay, but they're still smiling, they're still um, sharing na kakayanin nila yun. So parang that was a very um, uh, inspirational journey. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know about the earthquake. No? Okay, um, yeah. As a rejoinder also with what oh, Abinesi yes. shared, um, ang maganda po doon is finding the silver lining po. Yes. Biktima rin po kami, but still we're able we're able po to help others. Yes. It doesn't yeah. mean that we're a victim of the earthquake or any yeah. any disaster or circumstance, bad circumstance or unfortunate circumstance. You cannot you are, you have the you have no reason anymore to share or to help others. Mm -hmm. So that's why we told ourselves po na nga, should we stop in here? No, let's continue mm -hmm. because this is actually the high a high time for us to feel. To let others feel that they're loved, that they're cared, that they're actually important. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, yes. Um, we're also sharing now the photos. Uh, the photos of my Relief Drive. Yay. These are the photos. More of. photos. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Okay. Ah. Um, so this is during the drive. Marami pong nagtatanong sa amin, Miss Erica, how did we do it po, the Bank on Bohol Relief Drive? Because mm. during that, all of us are young. Yeah. Mga bata pa po kami, we are this young, we're, ano, we just maximize the available resources po. Um, we're able actually to have um, a sponsor or donors from St. Luke's Medical, Medical. po, Gets Pharma, we're able to collect actually a sum of millions, millions for in kind and in cash for actually not only in Paul when when we were struck by her yes po. it's during yolanda yolanda in the same uh, year actually, yes. when leite was hit by the super, super typhoon, typhoon yolanda, yolanda. we're also able po, to extend help po. and that is what uh known as one one ball. Ball. in fact uh kami po yung mga First, mga una sa una sa mga na responde po. Uh, -oh. uh doon sa sa Leyte po sa Tacloban. So, you did Philippines actually took the lead in forming the One Bohol. So, uh, with the tagline we are one, we care, we are one Bohol because we actually right. have this understanding that um uh, it's because they're the experience um, that the Maybe you could share your um last words just words no. ba? or maybe <laughs> mga insights kayo that you would want to share or mga reminders that yeah. you would give to the viewers especially sa mga kabataan nowadays 
Um, Miss Erica, before we somewhat give our takeaways, po, um, allow us po to share to everyone our future plans in the organization. Po. Sure, yes, sure. Po. Yeah. Um, yes, first, actually, in the list is uh, the Amplifying Convergence for Education or ACE. ACE. Yes, yes Pop. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, in the Amplifying Convergence for, a for Education or ACE project, po, it aims to promote local convergence in supporting the needs of the education sector, both formal and non-formal, in adapting to the new learning systems under the better normal. Okay. Um, this action will form part of our commitment to SDG 4, which is Quality Education, and SDG 17, Partnerships for the Goals, under the framework of the I Transform campaign of YLP. Okay, yes. so how will that work? May mga concrete plan, pla sorry, concrete plans na ba kayo for this? Yeah, actually, po, we'll be having our meeting po next week po to okay. discuss concrete po. And then, um, it's just it's so happen po na we were able to discuss about this like few days ago po. So wow. next meeting, yes po. I mean, we're still free po and um and open po to share to everyone our future plans po. The moment these are actually finalized, we have also our second future plan, um, which is our second future plan is saving mul mul. Uh, parrot fish is known in our local dialect as mulmol since we all know the declining number of parrot fish no in in our seas no that leads to there's because of this imbalance yeah. of consumption and we all know that the, the very uh, crucial uh, the, the role of uh, parrot fish in our sanctuaries in our coral reefs so that is why we come up with this uh, initiative or program not to keep the importance of mulmol and to pass the legislation targets to regulate the fishing of uh, mulmol or parrot uh, fish. This action will form of our commitment to SDG number 14, which is Life Below Water, and SDG 17, Partnerships for the Goals, under the framework of uh, I Transform campaign of our organization. Okay, Par sorry, parrot fish? Yes, fish. parrot fish. Oh, I've never Divide. heard of yeah, the, the, the parrot fish, yun kumakain ng mga algae. algae, and then yung way to nag, 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 na, nag sand. into sand. sand. Yes, oh, okay. okay. They balance the ecosystem yes. now. Uh -oh. And they're endangered now. And they're, and they're actually endangered, endangered now. Kasi, um, bilihin talaga siya sa market. Mm. Yes, po. Especially ng mga bisaya. They love mall mall. Yeah. Oh, so, I know okay. that. Um, in these days, we are faced with many problems and obstacles in the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has altered our way of life, triggered drastic changes, and limited even our movements and interactions. Um, it has affected communities all over the world and has caused a lot of anxieties, especially for the youth. Now, but we also believe that there is no reason for the youth not to rise and engage. There is no reason for the youth not to act, not to honor what our heroes expect us to be as the hope of our motherland. There is no reason for us youth not to take leadership in the community. And above all, there is no reason for us, the youth, not to make a difference. Ah, oh, naman. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's really nice. Okay. Yeah, as we always say, ambulate and luminate the Walk in the light of faith. Oh, nice, nice. I love it. Thank you, you sweet Philippines. Uh, super, you know what? I really enjoyed today's episode. I hope nag enjoy din kayo. Thank you so much, Kuya William, Atenesi, Kuya Florence. Please continue to stay safe. And I will see you soon. Um, best wishes to Youth Lead Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so you. much. Me. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.